Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert page numbers from any page in your document, whether it be page one or three or five. I'm also going to teach you how to insert those page numbers starting from one or starting from the actual page of your document. So let's get started. So here you can see I've just got a demonstration document with five pages. So what I want to demonstrate is how to insert my page numbers from page three here. So the first thing I need to do is split my document into sections. And the way in which to do that is to go down to the bottom of the page before you want to insert your page numbers. So go to the bottom, as you can see now my cursor's at the bottom left of this page. Then I go up to layout, then I go to this icon here that says breaks, click on the drop down and you need to select next page. This is under the title section breaks. So just click on there and at the moment you can't see that much has happened. But if I go back up to the home tab and I select this funny little icon here, click on it and then all these little symbols will appear including your section break. Now this is really good when you find that your document's not doing quite what you want it to do. If you highlight all these symbols, you can see how your document's laid out. Whether you've added a page break, or you've added a return key symbol or a tab key, and sometimes that can solve your problems. So here you have a section break. So this has effectively divided your document into two parts. The next thing we need to do is to go and actually insert those page numbers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert mine in the footer. And the different way you can access your header and footer is first of all you can just double click at the very bottom of your page and your header and your footer will appear. Alternatively if you go to insert and along to header or footer and then you can just select the one you want. But I'm just going to double click down here. So the first thing to note is along both your header and footer sections, it's been divided into two. Here you have section one, and here you have section two. Section two is appearing after your section break. So the next thing we need to do is unlink these two sections. And the way in which to do that is to make sure you're on the header and footer tab. Go down to link to previous and uncheck it. When you've unchecked it, you'll see that same as previous has disappeared on the footers. If I just click back on, you'll see that same as previous appears. Click off and it disappears. And that's really important because if you don't get rid of that, you can't start your page numbers from a completely different page. Now remember, you can put this section break anywhere you need to in your document. So the next thing to do is insert the page numbers. So go up to page numbers and select page number. Here you can select from a number of different options. I'm going to put mine my page number in the center and then I'm going to click format. Now again you've got a number of options here depending on what your preference is but this is the important section here. If you want your page number to start from the number of the page in your document if I chose this selection my page numbers would start from 3 because I have selected page 3. If I want my page numbers to start from number one on page three, then I simply click start at one. So if we choose that option now, and I'll just show you, just click OK and click OK again. As you can see, my third page has got my first number on and it's starting from one. If I want you to choose the other option, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove page numbers Again, go to page number and then go to format and then go to continue from previous section. Click OK again, click OK again and as you can see my page number here has come up as page number three but I don't have anything on page one or two. Now if you wanted to get rid of your section break, you've made a mistake and you need to move it down your document then if I just double click back onto my document, what you need to do is hold your command or control key down, click and drag, so you make sure you've highlighted the entire section break, and then just simply click the delete button. 
What you will notice is as soon as you have deleted it, your page numbers will then go back to becoming normal document page numbers starting from one on page one. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.